Cossack squats, great exercise, but can be quite harsh on your hips and your knees. So the best way to eliminate that is to grab something to hold on to and just limit the range that we're gonna to do to start with. Trust me, it might seem very hard at the start and it feels like you can't get it, but with practice, this movement gets quite easy. So I'm gonna get Jen to take her feet out wider. A little bit more. So it's almost like you're doing the splits. Come back in just a little bit for me. Cool. All right, so Jen's holding onto the bench as much as she feels like she needs it, as much support as you need in this one. So we're gonna to go to the camera to start with. So we're gonna go that way, bend in your knee. That, this toe comes up to the ceiling. And perfect, come on over to the other side. Just hang out in that position for me. <laughs> so again, this toe comes up to the ceiling just so it allows you to get up a little bit higher. And this might be enough for you, and that's quite all right. All I'm gonna suggest for Jen in this one is to just keep your chest up a little bit higher. Good, keep going. Move your feet around as much as you need to. This, there isn't a set position for your feet on this one. It's just wherever you feel is comfortable so you can get lower. You can even see Jen's getting a little bit lower than when she first started in this video, just because she's practicing and moving her hips around. And just stand up tall for me. Now you might find that that's starting to get easy and you want to let go of that, the bench and start doing it. The easiest way to um, progress from there is to add in a counterbalance in front. Because if Jen was about to do it now with her body weight, she'd want to fall over backwards. So to counteract that, we'd hold a dumbbell out to the front. And then we're going to go out to the sides, slow and control. Again, I don't care how deep Jen is going, I care about the control that she has over this exercise. Perfect, go two more. 